Divorce is a complex and emotionally charged issue that affects couples worldwide. However, when it comes to royal families, the consequences of a marital breakdown can be extremely complex and financially devastating. These high-profile divorces are often marked by lavish financial settlements, bitter disputes over titles, and a constant stream of sensational news stories that capture the public's attention. Therefore, in today's video, we're going to talk about 12 of the most expensive divorce settlements in the world. So without further ado, let's start. At number 12, we've got Princess Louis and Princess Tessie of Luxembourg's divorce settlement. Born the 3rd of August 1986, Louis is the third son of Henry, Grand Duke of Luxembourg, and Maria Theresa, Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. He married Tessie Anthony the 29th of September 2006. However, Prince Louis and Princess Tessie of Luxembourg's marriage ended due to a breakdown during the summer of 2016, with Tessie filing for divorce, citing Louis's unreasonable behavior as the grounds for their separation. The couple was granted a quickie divorce at the Central Family Court in London, February 2017. In terms of a divorce settlement, Prince Louis was ordered to pay around $95 per week to each of his two sons, with the judge ruling that the vast wealth of Prince Louis' family could not be factored into the divorce battle. Additionally, the judge ordered that the princess and children should be given a license to occupy the former family home and in London until the youngest child finishes his first degree. Prince Louis initially offered to pay $350,000 in child maintenance for each child, but was ordered to pay around 5000 per year. As part of the settlement, Tessie was allowed to retain her title until September 2019, following the divorce to get her affairs in order, after which she's known as Tessie Anthony de Nassau. Next, we've got the divorce settlement saga of Prince Joachim of Denmark and Princess Alexandra Manley. Born the 7th of June 1969, Prince Joachim is the member of the Danish royal family and the younger son of Queen Margaret II. He married Alexandra Christina Manley on the 18th of the November 1995, they announced their intention to divorce in 2004. Danish media speculated that the couple divorced because the prince's increasing fondness for parties and fast cars. The Danish parliament decided to grant Princess Alexandra an annual allowance from the civil list, amounting to approximately $330,000 starting from October 1, 2004. This allowance was independent of any future remarriage, ensuring her financial independence. However, in 2017, Princess Alexandra chose to renounce her entitlement to the civil list effective July 2020, coinciding with her son Prince Felix's 18th birthday. Despite this, she continued to receive a smaller sum, similar to a civil service pension. The couple agreed to share custody of their two sons with Danish law stipulating that the prince could not leave the country due to his succession rules. Princess Alexandra remarried in 2007, and that led to the loss of her title as the Princess of Denmark and her status as a member of the Danish royal family. On the other hand, on October 3rd, 2007, a Danish court announced that Prince Joachim had become engaged to French native Marie Cavalier. Their wedding took place the 24th of May, 2008. At number 10, we've got Anne, Princess Royal, and Mark Phillips' divorce settlement story. Born the 15th of August, 1950, she's the second child and only daughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. She married Mark Phillips on the 14th of November, 1973. However, she and Captain Mark Phillips had a marriage that faced significant challenge over the years. Their relationship was described as loveless union, just drifting along. Both parties reportedly engaged in extramarital affairs, with Captain Mark Phillips having affairs with several women and Anne having close relationships with others, including her now husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence. The marriage broke when it was revealed that Captain Mark Phillips had fathered a child with another woman in 1985 and had been secretly paying child support. The divorce between Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips was finalized April 1992 after they had separated for more than two years, which allowed for an uncontested divorce under British law. Despite the high-profile nature of their separation, no financial settlement was publicly announced. However, it was reported that Phillips was required to pay a settlement of approximately 415000 Finally, following the divorce, Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips agreed that their two children, Peter and Zara Phillips, would live with Anne at her home in Gatcombe Park. Currently, Anne, the Princess Royal, is married to Sir Timothy Lawrence. Next, we've got the divorce settlement of Princess Martha Louise of Norway in Airy Ben. Born the 22nd of September 1971, Martha is a member of the Norwegian royal family, a businesswoman and a self-described fortune teller. She is the only daughter of King Herod V and Queen Sanja. On the 24th of May 2022, Princess Martha Louise married author Airy Ben in Trondheim. However, the couple divorced in 2017, with both parties acknowledging that they had grown apart despite their efforts to make their relationship 
relationship work. Ari Ben had previously hinted at personal struggles including depression and alcoholism, which may have contributed to the marital issues. The details of the divorce settlement between Princess Martha Louise and Ari Ben were not publicly disclosed. However, it is known that Princess Martha Louise received $2.9 million and also retained ownership of the family home in Lomdalen, west of Oslo, and the holiday home called Bloxbacher in the island of Hanko, which she inherited from her grandfather. Ari Ben was expected to settle near the family home to remain an active part of the children's lives. The couple agreed to share joint custody of their three daughters, Maud Angelica, Leah Isidore, and Emma Tallulah. This arrangement was emphasized in their statement, quote, We are ending the marriage, but we are remaining together in parenthood. In May 2019, the princess announced that she was in a relationship with a self-styled priest named Derek Verrett. Next at number eight, we have the divorce settlement story of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah Ferguson. Born the 19th of February, 1960, Andrew is the third child and second son of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Andrew married Sarah Ferguson at Westminster Abbey on the 23rd of July, 1986. However, the marriage was spoiled by controversy and drama leading to their divorce. Accusations of infidelity surfaced when Sarah was photographed on holiday with her financial advisor in a compromising situation. Sarah's behavior and the public scandals contributed to the collapse of their marriage, and they announced their separation in 1992. The divorce settlement between Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson was finalized in 1996, with Sarah receiving a total of around $3 million. The Queen contributed around $630,000 to this account, enabling Sarah to purchase her own home. Additionally, $1.7 million was allocated to trust funds for their daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene, while Sarah kept the remaining $440,000 in cash. Prince Andrew also agreed to cover his daughter's educational expenses and provide them with a monthly allowance. Despite the divorce, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have maintained a close and supportive relationship. They have lived together at the Royal Lodge in Windsor and have been seen attending events and holidays together. Sarah has publicly supported Prince Andrew and emphasized their successful co-parenting and mutual support. Next, we've got the unnamed Middle Eastern royal divorce settlement story. The unnamed Middle Eastern royal, who is the husband, is a non-working royal, and his title is honorific. He and his wife's names haven't been revealed because English courts allow individuals to keep their names hidden in divorce cases at early stages. The husband and wife have shared a love for horses, and they met in 2017 at the U.S. equestrian event. They married in 2018 and moved into a property of modest value in the southeast of England worth around $2.9 million. They eventually divorced in 2024, so multi-million dollar homes, private jets, and lavish vacations were at the heart of a London money fight, where a judge ordered the unnamed members of the Middle Eastern royal family to pay $6 million to the estranged wife. The significant payout order came after an anonymous 34-year-old royal initially argued he had, quote, limited resources to pay the UK after the breakdown of his short marriage. He was, in fact, worth around $111 million, he later said, giving evidence. The London judge concluded that the son of the ex-senior minister in an undisclosed Middle Eastern nation was enormously wealthy. The judge ordered the husband to pay $5 million to his ex-wife to pay for a house in the US, over $1.2 million to cover other expenses and recurring payments that include a $50,000 car for their two children's nanny every five years. Next, we've got the divorce settlement story of David Armstrong Jones, second Earl of Snowden, and Serena Armstrong Jones. Born 3rd of November 1961, he's the only son of Prince Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones, 1st Earl of Snowden. On the 8th of August 1993, he married Serena Eileen Stanhope at St. Margaret's Church in Westminster. However, in February 2020, they mutually decided to end their marriage and proceeded with a divorce. This decision was reached in a friendly way, and both parties requested that their privacy, as well as that of their family, be respected during this time. The divorce would involve a substantial financial settlement. The Earl has accumulated a significant fortune over the years, which includes multiple companies and properties. The couple has huge wealth in their possession that includes a $4.75 million Kensington flat, a cottage in Gloucestershire, and a $3.7 million chateau in Providence. Additionally, the Earl inherited half of the Prince Margaret's $25 million fortune. Experts are saying that this may get distributed among them. However, the main contention in the divorce is the division of the Earl's $12 million Kensington townhouse, which was originally purchased by the late Queen for him and is held in a trust for the children. It shows that divorce is a significant event that involves complex financial settlements. Despite all these, the couple has emphasized the importance of privacy for themselves and their family. They will share custody of their children, with the family's well-being being a priority. Next, we've got King Charles III and Princess Diana's divorce settlement 
story. Born on the 14th of November 1948, Charles III is the king of the United Kingdom and the 14 other Commonwealth realms. He proposed to Diana in February 1981, and the wedding took place in St. Paul's Cathedral the 29th of July 1981. The marriage of King Charles III and Princess Diana was marked by the public and private turmoil that we know around the story, leading to their separation in 1992, and eventually their divorce in 1996. The couple's marital troubles were widely publicized, including infidelity and incompatibility. Diana's candid interviews and tell-all book further illuminated the reasons behind their divorce. After an arduous legal battle, the divorce settlement was finalized in August 1996. Princess Diana received a lump sum of $21 million, along with an annual stipend of $500,000 to run her office. This settlement was one of the largest in history at the time and was intended to cover Diana's future financial needs without any claim to the royal family's throne. As part of the divorce agreement, Diana was allowed to retain her title as Princess of Wales, but had to give up the style of Her Royal Highness, which would have entitled her to certain royal privileges and formalities. Despite this, she was permitted to keep her apartments in Kensington Palace and was given access to the royal family's jets for travel. At number four, we've got the divorce story of King Fayyid bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia in Jana Arb. He was king and prime minister of Saudi Arabia from 1982 to 2005. Prior to his ascension, he was the crown prince of Saudi Arabia from, from 1975 to 1982. He was the eighth son of King Abdulaziz, the founder of modern Saudi Arabia. He married 13 times and his last wife was Jaina Arb. Jaina Arb, who is a Christian, married the then Prince Fahid bin Abdulaziz al Saud in 1968. However, their marriage faced significant challenges, including Arb's conversion to Islam and subsequent rejection by Fahd's family, leading to her fleeing Saudi Arabia in 1970. Arb initially claimed that she was entitled to more than $23 million in the deeds to two plush London flats based on an agreement with Prince Abdulaziz bin Fahd, who allegedly promised to honor her father's commitment to provide for her for the rest of her life. A high court judge found her claim credible and awarded her the equivalent of more than $23 million plus the deeds to the two expensive London flats. Despite the initial ruling in her favor, the London court later overturned the decision, stripping Arb of the $17 million payout. The case drew significant public interest due to the secretive nature of the Saudi royal family and the potential insights Arb's story could provide. Next, we've got Prince Fasil Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud's divorce settlement story. Born the 23rd of July 1978, he's a member of the House of Saud and was the head of the Saudi Arabian Red Crescent Society. The specific reasons behind the divorce of Prince Fasal bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and his former wife, Princess Fahad Hussein Abdul Raha Al Ayath, have not been publicly disclosed. The couple married in 2001 and finalized their divorce in Saudi Arabia in 2016. The divorce settlement has led to legal battles in the United States, where the prince filed a lawsuit against his ex-wife to prevent her from selling a property without his consent. He claims that he's owed about $42 million, which he has loaned for the renovation of the property. The property in question was purchased for around $17 million and includes a substantial estate with at least 19 bedrooms and 21 bathrooms. The Cayman Islands judge has valued the property between $31 million and $40.5 million. Princess Fana argues that she was never a manager of a Delaware LL formed to buy the property and that the Delaware court had no jurisdiction over her. The allegations are that the prince used the property as a weapon against his ex-wife with claims that he will neither agree to sell it, fund it, use it, or buy it. The prince has been in detention since March 2020. Next, we've got Prince Ernst August of Hanover in Princess Caroline of Monaco's divorce settlement story. Born the 26th of February 1954, Ernst August is the head of the House of Hanover. He married Princess Caroline of Monaco in 1999. Prince Erst of Hanover and Princess Caroline of Monaco had a notably troubled relationship, marked by various scandals and legal disputes. The couple's marriage began to unravel publicly when Princess Caroline moved out in 2009 after discovering Prince Erst with a French socialite. This was not the first time infidelity had been an issue in their relationship as rumors of affairs circulated for months. However, they were consistently denied by the palace in Monaco. The prince's absence from official engagements and his past alcohol-related problems also contributed to the strain of their marriage. While the couple has not pursued a formal divorce, their separation has been speculated to potentially result in one of the most expensive divorces in history. Prince Ernst's wealth, estimated at over $6.3 billion, could have meant that Princess Caroline was entitled to half under German and French law. It's been estimated that she could have received $85 million if they had divorced after five years as a prenuptial agreement. Despite the separation, Princess Caroline retains her title as Her Royal Highness Princess of Hanover. 
Currently, he is pretender to the thrones of the Kingdom of Hanover and the Duchy of Brunswick. At number one, we've got Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Princess Haya bint Hussein's divorce story. Born the 15th of July, 1949, Mohammed bin Rashid is an Amir politician and royal who is current ruler of Dubai and serves as the vice president, prime minister, and minister of defense of the UAE. He's been married multiple times. He married Princess Haya in 2004. Between Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Princess Haya bint Hussein was marked by serious allegations and concerns for safety. In May 2019, the marriage fell apart when Princess Haya fled Dubai to stay away from the Sheikh. Thus, the world saw one of the most widely covered royal divorce cases of all time. After hearing both of them, the High Court gave the judgment in favor of the princess. However, the court also heard about Princess Haya's affair with her British bodyguard, which became public and added to the marital strife. The divorce settlement ordered by the UK High Court is the largest in royal history. Sheikh Mohammed had to pay Princess Haya an upfront payment of over 300 million within three months. Ongoing payments are to be made for the children with a bank guarantee of over 360 million underpinning these payments. The princess is now said to be living in rural Wales. And with this, we wrap up this video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you found our channel interesting, then subscribe to it. Thank you. See you in the next video.